Peacekeeping helps countries torn by conflict create conditions for lasting peace and has proved to be one of the most effective tools available to the UN to assist host countries navigate the difficult path from conflict to peace. UN peacekeeping is guided by three basic principles, namely consent of the parties, impartiality, and non-use of force except in self-defense and in defense of the mandate. Since 1948, the UN has helped end conflicts and forced a reconciliation by conducting successful peacekeeping operations in dozens of countries, including Cambodia, Mozambique, Namibia, and Tajikistan. Other countries where the UN peacekeeping missions have helped restore order are Sierra Leone, Burundi, Cote d'Ivoire, Liberia, Haiti, and Kosovo. To achieve her mandate, the UN member countries can be asked to provide both uniformed and civilian personnel to undertake peacekeeping and implementation missions in areas of conflict and post-conflict. The Kenya Army is involved in uh, several uh, UN missions. Uh, Monoso, uh, we are in uh, Unimis, we are uh, in Dafu, Unamid, uh, we are also in Liberia, uh, and currently also as part of the African Union, we are also in Amazon. The history of Kenya Defense Forces' participation in UN peacekeeping missions dates back to the 1973 Israeli-Arab War. Due to logistical challenges, the country didn't participate. However, in 1989, Kenya made her maiden deployment to UNTAG mission in Namibia. Since the Namibia mission, the Kenya Defense Forces has 26 missions in different countries in Africa, the Middle East, the Balkans, and Asia. Kenya also contributes to regional peacekeeping missions under the auspices of African Union. Presently, the Kenyan peacekeepers are in Somalia under the AU Charter. It is also a major troop contributing nation to UN peacekeeping operations worldwide. All these missions have brought the country great respect and honor because of the dedication and discipline among the peacekeepers. The selection of officers to serve a mission and training is done based on DPKO international standards. These include mandatory pre-deployment training, strategic and operational level training, which is done at the Peace and Conflict Studies School, PCSS, and tactical training, which is conducted at the Humanitarian Peace Support School, HPSS. A soldier that is going to serve in the UN mission must have not had an offense for the last 24 months. Secondly, those who we sent to the UN mission as a young soldier, we must have completed three years as a soldier and um, as a NCO, or a, those ones that are going to be commanders at the lower level. You must have at least seven years in that post. During the selection process, we ensure that uh, we are also gender sensitive, that uh, part of our female uh, colleagues also take part in the UN peacekeeping missions. The International Peace Support Training Center is the center of excellence in the Kenya Defense Forces, which conducts pre-deployment training for the Kenyan peacekeepers due to deploy on UN missions. IPSTC is a, a center of excellence that is recognized by the African Union and the United Nations uh, with the mandate of uh, building peace support operations capacity within Eastern Africa. Uh, this is uh, within the, the African Peace and Security Architecture whereby the continent is divided into five blocks and within each block there is a center of excellence. To meet the highest standard and effectiveness in peacekeeping operations, IPSTC Kenya has set up a realistic field-level PSO training center 
at Humanitarian Peace Support School in Embakasi. Known as Amani Training Village, this is a unique facility in the Eastern African region that has enabled simulation of peace support operations training, hence providing realistic field-level PSO training to troop contributing countries across the African continent and beyond. This Amani village uh, has got several um, areas where you can design any kind of scenario in the field. For example, uh, if you have a chance to visit our PSO village, you realize that there is a little village which has got African hearts, where you find these low costs or other rural areas. What you find in the rural areas, you find that old men, children, staying in mud houses, you find them there. The most recent mission that has been prepared for deployment is Kenbat 22, which is the UN mission in South Sudan. The mandate of Kenbat 22 mission shall be to conserve peace and security to help the government of Southern Sudan achieve several objectives. Mission Mimosa Battalion 22 is to provide security to Office of Coordination of Humanitarian Aid from the depot to Wau Airstrip. Kenyan peacekeepers undertake special tasks during the missions, one of the main ones being patrolling. Patrolling is intended to monitor activities in areas of operation in order to maintain the peace and ensure a safe and secure environment. What you are seeing us doing here, basically I'm briefing my section commanders uh, on the procedures of occupying a temporary operating base. From here, I will show them their, their sectors or the areas that they will cover so that they give protection to the rest of the company. And uh, as I said, what we are doing is the procedure of occupying a temporary operating base. Casualty evacuation is also a key activity of peacekeepers. This ranges from medical evacuation and evacuation of civilians for safety purposes. Peacekeepers are also specially trained for purposes of relocation of refugees and returnees. Additionally, the UN peacekeepers under POC mandates are authorized by the UN Security Council to support or supplement the protection efforts of the host state institutions in cases where international peace and security is deemed to be at risk. Kenya has one of the best demining expertise in Africa. The Kenyan peacekeepers have therefore been very instrumental in demining exercises in UNMEE Eritrea and UNMIS Sudan. Here we are dealing with mine awareness. You see at times our soldiers are exposed to areas where there are mines. For example, they had an experience of this in Eritrea and Ethiopia from the year 2001. That's the time they got deployed there. So they came here for training on mine awareness, that is the issues of identification and be able to disarm these mines that are uh, found in the field. Success for UN peacekeepers is never guaranteed. They work in the most physically and politically difficult environments. Kenya is proud of being a member of this noble exercise to share in the glory of the UN's achievements of over 60 years of existence and success which made it possible to win several awards including the Nobel Peace Prize. As Kenya Defense Forces celebrate more than 24 years of peacekeeping, the country looks back with nostalgia on the commendable role that we have played as a member of the UN family. Above all, the credit goes to our valiant men and women who have put their lives at stake for the sake of maintaining peace in troubled sports across the globe.